Street Smart New Jersey is just uh, the latest in a series of initiatives that we have undertaken in a partnership with the NJTPA. Uh, a few years ago, we worked with the NJTPA to develop a pedestrian and bicycle safety plan, which identifies safety challenges and strategies for addressing them. Uh, we are currently working with the NJTPA on a uh, Newark Downtown Circulation Improvement Study, uh, which is collecting data on pedestrians, cyclists, drivers, buses, and others getting around downtown. Uh, in addition, the NJTPA has funded several safety improvements to busy streets in Newark, and more are planned. Uh, on behalf of the County of Essex, I want to commend the City of Newark for participating in this important pedestrian uh, safety campaign. In addition to coordinating street smart campaigns, the NJTPA has approved nearly $30 million for safety improvements in Newark with grants to the city and county of Essex. Since 2013, Street Smart has grown from five pilot communities to more than 80 municipalities. This, this campaign is about changing behaviors, saving lives, and we've seen some great successes. Following some past campaigns, we saw a 40% reduction in drivers failing to stop for pedestrians, and a 28% reduction in pedestrians crossing mid-block or against the signal. I'm a trauma surgeon at um, University Hospital in Newark. And in the emergency room at University Hospital, there's a quiet room. And in that room, there is a picture of a beach and some red chairs. And the worst thing that I do as a parent and as a community member and as a doctor is to go into that room and tell someone that they have lost their child or their mother or their brother or their sister to an accident, an injury, a crash that was preventable. My mother was waiting on the corner for me and there was a construction zone. And I couldn't see the second lane where I crossed the street. So I went into the first lane that was closed down the road. And then all of a sudden, the car cut back into my lane doing between 30 and 40 miles an hour and I went right through the windshield. Completely knocked out, having no recollection of it. The car let me roll off the hood and took off. I woke up in the hospital with uh, windshield in my face and bruises all over my body. But uh, lucky enough, I was able to live. And when Will came to me talking about this program, it, was, it really hit a nerve because I was that person. Newark is the state's largest city. But unfortunately, it is also it also has the largest number of pedestrian vehicle crashes. It is my hope that with programs like this one and in other initiatives, we can work to reduce these scary numbers.